Hearing none, the motion carries. This takes us to 8.4 delegation from Emily Thon Xavier, director of the Brant and Tamil Association regarding item 12.4 committee of council recommendation CW041 2021 Tamil community in Brampton. Welcome Emily Thon. And for the purpose of this delegation, um, do I have council's uh, support to move up the motion on this? Or Peter Faye, can you give us any direction on that? Through you, Mr. Mayor, that's appropriate if that's the will of council. I believe after the delegation, Council Medeiros may have uh, an amendment okay. to that motion from committee last week. So Council okay. Medeiros can introduce it after the delegation. Okay. Great. Okay. Amalie Thon. Thank you, Chair and Mayor, Mayor Brown. Uh, good morning. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me, American Serbia, to be here with you today as the director of the Branton Tamil Association and the founder member of and the advisor of the Branton Tamil Senior Association, I am delegated to present their message to you. As a primary Tamil organization representing the Branton Tamils, we are extending our heartfelt gratitude to you, Mayor Brown for his leadership, Regional Councillor Martin Meadows for the listening the concern of the community, and the present in the motion, Regional Councillor Pat Fortney and Ruby Dillon for assisting on the motion, Regional Councillor Michael Palachi Paul Wins, City Councillor Doug Williams, Jeff Foreman, Chairman William, Rona Sanders, and Harkat Singh for extending your unwavering anonymous support. At this juncture, your timely action and the anonymous concern to the motion is a great moral and mental relief to all of us in the community, particularly for the Tamil seniors who are already in the receiving end of the pandemic and the winter. Your action is a great relief and the booster to them all for your continuous close associations, love and support to the Brampton Tamil community. You all will always be in our heart. Following your motion, we establish a special committee to work with the city for city. We formulate the clear action plan to complete the Tamil genocide monument project the best way as possible and make not only the Tamil community and the city council proud, but also the entire Bramptonian feel proud. As he made it clear, the community will bear the entire cost of the monument, which we strongly feel is the appropriate way to do it. We are assembling all the expertise and the resources in the community to showcase this as a model where we all can work together and build a better society, listening and respecting each other where equality, peace and harmony can exist. It will be a lesson, not only to the Sri Lankan government, but all authorities and government around the globe. No one can raise or destroy genocidal history. We are also happy to share with you that 80 million Tamils around the world now know Brampton City and its council and they too expresses their gratitude to you all. We, the Brampton Tamil, feel proud and stand tall because of you. As a nation of the people face the 21 century genocide and still facing oppression and untold, untold suffering every day as their family members, we find same peace because of you. Um, we, we did suggest one change in the original motion as the Council Martin Meadows presented today, name it as Tamil Genocide Memorial Monument. Please and give your same anonymous support and move it to the city to implementation. Our team will start working with them from their own work. Thank you for all opportunity to present this ourselves here today. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you, Amali Thon, and with Council's um, indulgence, um, we can move the motion forward. I don't see any opposition to that in the chat box. So to the clerk, can we put the motion on the on the screen? Through you, Mr. Chair, yes, we'll bring it up momentarily. Charlotte, there's the revised motion from Councilor Medeiros from this morning. There we go. Um, and Perfect. Councilor Medeiros will have to introduce this amendment to the committee recommendation. Yeah, and I was, I was just going to ask, um, Councilor Medeiros, uh, who I've spoken to about this, um, there's no, con as I see it, perfect. In the amended motion, you mentioned genocide because I know for the community, it's very important we state that a genocide happened. And so I think um, Councilor Medeiros's amendments are 
perfect and express um, the wish of the community. So we have a number of speakers. We've got Councillor, um, yeah, we've got Councillor Medeiros, then Vicente, then Dylan, then Fertini. So Councillor Medeiros first. Yeah, and thank you for you, Mayor. Thank you, Amal, uh, for coming forward. Thank you to the, the, the Brampton Tamil community and uh, certainly, uh, um, you know, your sort of friendship and guidance. And, um, you know, really, I and, and I don't want to speak on behalf of Council, because I do know other colleagues are going to speak. Um, but I think all of us, we share a collective respect and uh, uh, um, a real sort of... Uh, um, you know, dignity and and uh, 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 and we reflected on on this issue. And I, I do want to recognize uh, Mayor Brown's leadership on this issue and uh, his involvement. I, I do know I did receive contacts also uh, from uh, the National Council of Canadian Tamils. And, um, you know, Mayor Brown did speak with me on some of the suggested language, and I know that was very aligned with what you brought forward, uh, Amal. Um, I think there's a, a just a, a one thing I'd like to ask you directly, Amal, uh, in terms of, um, you know, this is going to be 100% funded by the community. And you talked about all this, uh, and I've been impressed with all this uh, uh, impact that's even gone beyond our borders. Um, but if you can speak to me how important it is to the local Brampton community, the Tamil community, and what has been some of the, the feedback. The community is well energized and we're supporting for the uh, uh, motion, the bill for the monument. So the most of the business people want to put their own, they want to see, they want to contribute it. Most of the people want their own contribution. So they want to build their own. So we proud we can build whatever the cost for the monument, one of the best. Best. Yeah, and, and that's great. And the only direction I would provide staff, um, and I, I recall uh, we had a, a discussion, and I'm not sure if this was in previous council or the first couple of years of this current council, where we talked about that Brampton really lacked monuments and places of reference. And I think as part of the 2040 vision, uh, we identified sort of, uh, you know, the need for, uh, you know, more monuments, Places where if people came from outside of Brampton, where would they go take pictures? You know, essentially we always see sort of City Hall, uh, we see sort of, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, some other sort of references uh, uh, in the city, uh, the gazebo, et cetera. Um, but, you know, I think this has to be aligned with an overall strategy because I, I do know other community groups may come forward with sort of different ideas. And so, you know, as much as that this is impacting the specific, you know, Brampton community and the community at large, uh, and it's something that is really, uh, um, you know, from uh, the intention we're getting, it's uh, really going to be celebrated and, and we want to make this important. Uh, but we also want to have it uh, sort of aligned and part of an overall strategy, uh, which uh, is for Brampton to uh, have these type of, uh, I think, uh, monuments and, and, and uh, opportunities for other uh, groups to come forward. Uh, and we, you know, think of uh, the Legion with their sort of uh, uh, dedication, the monument, uh, or uh, excuse me, uh, what they want to build. And, you know, and these type of things really help generate this excitement uh, and help, for, for example, our tourism strategy. But again, thank you, uh, Amal, for your advocacy. And, uh, you know, I, I really uh, uh, want this to be locally driven. This is really uh, the Tamil community in Brampton that's really going to drive it. Uh, but it's exciting to hear uh, that outside groups across the GTA and everyone is excited uh, and uh, really supportive as well. And, and uh, who knows, maybe we'll see other municipalities come forward and uh, do the same thing. So, again, uh, uh, thank you, uh, uh, Amal. Thank you, Mayor Brown. Uh, for making those suggested amendments and uh, aligning with the, the Brampton community. And, and thank you all members of uh, council, uh, because I, I don't think any of us really understood the impact this would have. And, and all of us uh, should be proud of this moment of really uh, taking a stand and, and following the mayor's leadership uh, in supporting this. So I thank you, uh, everyone, and thank you all again. Thank you. Our next question is Councillor Vasante. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. And I just want to briefly congratulate you, Amal, and everyone at the Brampton Tamils Association and the Seniors Association for the incredible work that you do here in the city of Brampton to uh, increase awareness in the community of uh, this uh, very uh, um, uh, historic and uh, moment that uh, should be remembered and should not be forgotten. Uh, I'd like to note to, to members of council that uh, in the past, as I was a member of the board of Carebram, 
uh, Amal and his team did uh, an, am an amazing pavilion that so well represented the Tamil uh, community here in the city of Brampton and really provided a very strong educational uh, piece at the pavilion as well as the cultural and the food, et cetera. But the educational piece that was presented at uh, the uh, Elam Pavilion was uh, nothing short of incredible. And so Amal, I just want to thank you for continuing to do this work and thank you, Councillor Maderos and the mayor uh, for uh, bringing this forward and for supporting this and to all of council for their support of Tamils here in the city of Brampton and for your organization, Amal, thank you for everything that you do. Thank you, Paul. Um, our next question is Councillor Dillon. Um, thank you so much. And um, I think a lot of the um, the people speaking before me have, you know, said a lot of what I wanted to say. And uh, I've been familiar with uh, the, the issue going on in, uh, uh, in Sri Lanka with the Tamil people for about 30 years, since, for about 30 years, actually, since I was a... Uh, uh, a young middle school student and where uh, I had a group of Tamil friends uh, I was with. And so I've been educated since then. I've done a number of uh, projects on it, even in, in school. And so uh, I've come to learn uh, the greatness of the Tamil people, their, their perseverance uh, throughout so much struggle uh, and about their contribution they made to, to Brampton, to Ontario and to Canada. And uh, Amo, you've been a key, uh, a key person uh, leading the way. So I want to thank you for uh, your uh, assistance in this. And I want to thank uh, Council Medeiros for uh, bringing this forward as well. Um, you know, I, I just want to say over the past few years, I've seen Brampton change for the better. We've always had a, a, a diverse city uh, and we're really recognizing all the contributions of, of our diverse population. And so, uh, you know, if you, if you kind of know the history of some of uh, the towns and cities in, in Ontario, including Brampton. It was named uh, from the place uh, where, the, where, where the people first settled from. And so, uh, you know, we're continuing that tradition. And, you know, it, we're, we're, you know, the places that we're from originally, uh, things that are important to us, uh, you know, we're, uh, you know, building monuments, we're, we're naming streets, we're uh, erecting some of these, uh, 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 these, these uh, you know, these monuments to, to, to educate people and to, to make sure that we don't forget and we continue to remember uh, what happened. For example, we had a uh, Kamagara uh, Maru Park a couple of years uh, ago, which was supported by the entire community because it represented uh, Canada, but it also represented Brampton as that uh, light, that that beacon that people are uh, aiming to, uh, that are aiming to come to uh, from all over the world. And so uh, this is just a continuation of what we've been seeing for the past couple of years. And I want to thank uh, our council for being pro very progressive as well. Uh, in this matter. So definitely support this. I want to thank, uh, uh, you know, uh, Council Medeiros, Amal, you and the enti entire Tamil community uh, and for the entire Brampton community for being uh, so supportive as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, just reading a note here from the clerk. Um, so we're dealing with, um, with the motion now that Councillor Medeiros has put forward. Um, I just want to verify there's no actually there's no other questions for um, Amal because we're actually dealing with the motion now. Is that correct? Uh, Mr. Yes. Chair, Councillor Fortini is on the list as well. So, Councillor Fortini, do you want to speak to the motion or ask Amal a question? I was going to just uh, thank him for the same, but I wanted to ask. Uh, uh, you know, first of all, thank you, Amal and uh, uh, David from the Brampton President. Um, I think when we were talking uh, the other night and I talked to David as a president, that they were looking more for, I don't know if we have to put in the, in the motion, more for a park because uh, like Chinkuzi Park or Gage Park, something big because when they do a festival, then we have a bylaw. They're only allowed so many people. So if they ever want to have a day to come over to celebrate or look at the monument, they don't want to have a, an area where a park is very small. So they were asking for Chikuzi Park. I know we said they're going to work with staff. Uh, I don't know if we have to put it in the motion. Uh, you know, and I understand what they're saying because, you know, you don't want to have 200 people coming that day and then say, hey, this little parkette is too small. So I think they were asking for Chikuzi Park. Yeah. Uh, so 
Uh, and I think you were on the call there that night with them. Okay, um, Councillor uh, Medeiros, would you take that as a friendly amendment to specify Shinkuzi Park? Uh, yeah, and, and and I appreciate uh, uh, I appreciate uh, um, Council Fortini and, and Mayor Brown uh, for do, for uh, prescripting it. The, the, the only concern, and I'm fine. The only concern I have is if staff. I, I'm not sure what the impacts would be with Ching Park. I don't know the overall. So that's why I thought um, you know we can maybe put some language where you know to the priority would be Ching Park, but. You know, there, there might be consideration staff need to report back. So that, that that's my only concern. But I'm fine with uh, with allowing that amendment. So for Tini, any other comments? No, that's it. I just want to thank them all and David. You know, they've been. Uh, I remember since I met them. You know, they they've been a very great uh, asset to our city. And I know David every year. He never even forgets my birthday. That's how loyal these people are and hardworking they are. And uh, and you know, I just want to thank what they did, and and you know, and uh, if staff could work with them on Chikuzi Park, that would be fine. And, and if they have to find somewhere else, uh, I'm okay with it. Thank you. So maybe that the motion could be if if preferably Chikuzi Park, if feasible, um, and that way there's language that is, um, um, you know, uh, they, they give it discretion. Um, seeing no other speakers there's just a few comments here councilman Giros. i've got some messages from the tamil community just on some housekeeping nature um the monument was destroyed on january 6th not january 11th so if we can have that as a friendly amendment to change the date to january 6th yep that's fine mayor i was on too can you uh, but you can finish and then just okay me. another one is i'm told the census data is um incorrect um, but the 4,500, um, so that the, the, the language spoken, it, it's 17,000 with Tamil ancestry, 11,000 who speak Tamil in, in the mother tongue is Tamil in Brampton. So maybe because, there, because there's three different figures, maybe we just don't even state the number. We just say Brampton is home to a large Tamil diaspora right? because there seems to be different interpretations on the number. That's fine. But it's certainly more than um, 4,500. Okay. Um, was that Gunter Sting who said he wanted to speak as well? Yeah, I want to thank Amalita uh, as well and the Brampton Tamil Association, the Tamil Seniors Association, and CCT, everybody who helped out. Uh, I was going to add that change you just, uh, well, I got a couple of messages, but uh, seeing you addressed it, I'm in full support of the motion. Thanks to Councilor Maduro for bringing it, and thank you for coming. All the council seconded it. Thank you. Okay. And I just want to, again, thank Councillor Medeiros for this idea. Um, you know, beautiful idea, I, I, Councillor Medeiros. I can tell you, as someone that was the first member of Parliament to speak about the genocide in the House of Commons and who went to the Geneva, actually with Mohan from the Brampton Tamil Association to speak on Canada's um, behalf uh, during these difficult days, um, I've made a lot of friends around the world that were involved in exposing this genocide. And I have to say... Uh, you know, we were getting emails to my office from France, from Norway, around the world. People were noticing this initiative, and um, it's the brainchild of Council Madero. So thank you for that uh, initiative. Um, and I think this is going to be um, uh, a great uh, reminder that while some regimes can rewrite history and engage in revisionist history, that's not what we do in Canada. You can't rewrite bloodstained history. In Canada, we remember, we learn from, and we educate, and um, proud to support this, and I think it's wonderful that all of Council is seconding. So is there anyone opposed? Hearing none, the motion carries unanimously. This takes us to um, 